In this section, we'll talk about solving systems of equations by graphing. This is the first of three ways that we'll look at for solving systems of equations. A system of equations is a set of equations that we solve at the same time. We want one answer for both solutions, both equations. So in this first example, we'll just check to see if it's a solution. It has to work in both places for it to be a solution. So let's put in negative 2 for x and negative 4 for y. And let's see, does it equal negative 18? So negative 3 times negative 2 is 6, and 6 times negative 4 is negative 24, and that does equal negative 18. But it has to work in both places, so let's try the other one. 2 times negative 2 minus 8 times negative 4, does that equal 24? 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, 8, negative 8 times negative 4 is a plus 32, and actually that equals 28, it does not equal 24. So this answer is no, even though it worked in one place, it has to work in both. So let's try this next one, we'll put in 0 for x, and negative 3 for y, and that gives us 0 minus 18, and that does equal negative 18. Let's try it in the other equation. 2 times 0 minus 8 times negative 3. And that gives us 0 plus 24, and that does equal 24. It works in both places, so this answer is yes. So let's look at these equations. We're going to graph this first one. Remember, it's a slope of 3 over 1. So we'll start at negative 5, and we'll go up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, and we'll draw that line. Then we'll graph this one. Remember, this is a slope of negative 5 over 1. Y-intercept is 3, so we'll start right here. We'll go down 5. over 1, over 1, gives us the point right there. So we'll draw our line through those points, and we're looking for where they cross. They cross right there. My drawing is not real great. But the place they cross is at 1, negative 2, so that's the answer to this problem. That point works in both equations. Let's look at this one. We'll solve the first, or graph the first one, so we get y-intercept of 5 and a slope of 4 over 1, so we can go up 4 over 1, Sometime, or we could go the opposite direction for both pieces, we could go down 4 left 1, and we'll draw our line. And then we'll graph our other equation, but we need to, first of all, put it in the right format to make it a little easier to graph. So we'll subtract 4x from both sides. And then we'll divide each part by a negative 1, which changes all the signs. So we have a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of 4. So we'll go up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1. And we can see those two lines don't cross. Because these lines don't cross, there's no solution. This happens when the lines are parallel. You notice that the slopes on both of those equations is 4. That, and you have to remember, we talked about that in the last chapter, uh, that, that tells us that the lines are parallel. This system is called inconsistent. It's inconsistent because there's no solution. Let's look at this system. So we'll graph this top equation first. It's a slope of 3 over 1. So y-intercept of 1, and then we'll go up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, and they give us a line like that. And then we'll work with the other equation to put it into the right format. So we'll add 9x on both sides. 
and then we'll divide by 3. And if you look at it, it's exactly the same as the first line. If we graphed it, it would be right on top of the other equation. Because these are the same lines, there are infinitely many solutions. Any point that is on one is also on the other. This happens when the lines are really the same. The system is called consistent because there's an answer, but these lines are dependent because they're really the same lines. The lines depend on each other. Let's look at this system. So we have x minus 5 equals 0. We'll add 5 to both sides, and that gives us x equals 5. Remember, that's a line that goes straight up and down, crosses the x-axis at 5. We'll work with the other one. We'll subtract 2x from both sides, so I get negative 5y equals negative 2x plus 10. We'll divide each part by negative 5. So we get y equals 2 fifths x minus 2. So we have 2 here up to over 5. Up to over 5. So our y-intercept was negative 2. And we get that line. And these two lines cross right here. That's the point 5, 0. So that's the answer to our system. Because these lines cross, there is one solution. The solution is always written as an ordered pair, a point, an x and a y. This system is consistent because there's an answer, but it's called independent because those two lines are different lines. So in this problem, we're going to talk about how many solutions there are and whether it's consistent, inconsistent, dependent, independent, without graphing. So we'll start by working with the first equation. And we'll subtract 9x from both sides. So we get 3y equals negative 9x plus 27. And then we'll divide each piece by 3. So we get y equals negative 3x plus 9. We'll do the same thing for the other equation. So we have 3x plus y equals 27. We'll subtract 3x from both sides. So we get y equals negative 3x plus 27. Now if you notice here, we have a negative 3 slope in both places, but our y-intercepts are different. And we talked about the last chapter that that means that these lines are parallel. They cross the y-axis at different spots, but they have the same steepness, the same slope. That means these lines aren't going to cross, which means there's no solution. So that's the first part of the question. If there's no solution, then these lines are inconsistent. We don't have to worry about independent or dependent unless we have consistent situation. So these lines are inconsistent.